Hey Canucks fans, hope you're well. I'm here to break down all of the goals from their 3-2 overtime victory over the defending Stanley Cup champion, Florida Panthers. Yes, I know the Panthers were missing Barkov. Yes, I know they're missing Kachuk. Doesn't matter. The Canucks get their first win of the season and they climb back to 500 as they look ahead to the second half of the road trip starting this weekend in Philadelphia. But that's for this weekend. This right now is for this game that just concluded. Let's break down all of the goals. So we start in the first period and the Canucks open the scoring. Just halfway through the first period, you see DeBrust ring it to the boards. Bluger back to Sherwood. Sherwood takes a, stop, uh, a shot that Bobrovsky stops. And then Bluger with a very quick and aggressive move around the net, backhand, wrap around. And at first they didn't call a goal on the ice. They actually called a Nate Schmidt penalty. But as we, we're gonna see like four or five replays, I don't have to slow it down. You see Bluger, he doesn't stuff it, he kind of shoots it off right there, off of Bobrovsky's right skate. Bobrovsky making that, that big stretch. And some of these angles, it's easy to see that it, it went in, like this one. You can clearly see white actually between uh, the goal line and the puck. And other angles are a little bit tougher and it doesn't help that. But here, right there, you can see it right there. Actually, that's a really good example. You see, um, and that's not, that's the end of Bobrovsky's pad, but you see a, a small white sliver of ice between the puck and the goal line. So that means it's a good goal. Yes, this highlight, Pat, you see it a few times. A nice play by Bluger, as you see. He doesn't wrap it completely. He kind of gets to the goal line, then kind of shoves it um, at Borowski's pad, and it actually goes in. Again, they show this briefly like six or seven times in this highlight pack. I'm not going to slow down. I think it's clear that you see it go in right there, and then you see the ref um, come to make his announcement. The puck completely crossed the goal line, therefore it's a good goal. He gives the point, talk it, adjust his tie, and it's one nothing Canucks. But just 11 seconds later, uh, Forsling shoots it in. So Moskovic gets it out of the corner here, wraps around. It goes off a heroic skate right to Jesper Bolquist and the Florida Panthers tie it up. You're going to see on one of these replays, it's a really rough sequence for Hronik, but let's let's see what happens here. Let's break down this goal. So 11 seconds in, there's Maki Samuskevich. Try saying that five times quickly. He comes around and it actually goes off Hronik's skate right to an open Jesper Boquist. Now I think this was actually Neil Zaman's man, as, as you can't really see it here. Uh, you see it prior to that. Oman kind of loses Boquist in the corner as he goes to the front of the net. And I'll show you this one other angle. Now, um, it, it's one thing to see what happens here. You see Samuskevic. The puck goes off of Hronik's skate. And as the puck goes towards the corner, you're going to see Oman's stick come up and go, hit Hronik in the face. So look, puck off of Hronik's skate. Oman's stick into Hronik's face. Hronik whips his head back, covers it with his, with his hand. And meanwhile, it's uh, Boquist getting the, the puck past Lankinen on the short side. And I, I want to show you, I'll go back and see you how Neil, I think how Neil Zaman kind of lost him here. So right here, you see Oman Trasper Boquist. That's fine. Hughes is covering Samuskevic. And then Oman starts to, I guess he's worried about the centering pass, but that's why you got Hronik here. So I think Oman here needs to stick with Lundell, sorry, with Bolquist, but instead he finds himself jammed in the middle. He ends up high sticking his teammate right there as you see, and that leaves Bolquist wide open. Tie game, 1-1, just 11 seconds later. Second period now, and it's the Canucks go ahead. Quinn Hughes, his initial shot gets stopped, it gets blocked by Sam Bennett right here. Boom, but then Hughes takes the puck, goes around Bennett, and wires a slap shot through Heinen, through Amon and pass Bobrovsky. This is a beautiful, beautiful shot. We know Hughes is always working on his shot from, from distance and he's he's shooting a lot harder than I can remember him shooting before. So once again, a face-off win. First block right there, a good block by Bennett and it goes to the side, goes right, it was a fortuitous bounce, it goes right back to Hughes. And now you see Amon already there for the screen. Heinen's coming in from the side here. And then look at that. That's really tough for Bobrovsky to see. You got two Panthers, two Canucks, and the puck goes past Bobrovsky on the short side. Here's a really, 
Like, look, how that's that's tough. Like, you can see Bobrovsky looking around. He's moving his head to the left, so towards the middle of the screen, and the puck somehow gets through all these guys and then into that corner right there. 2 1 Canucks. Beautiful shot by Hughes. Look at that. All his power, nice and low, and, and past the goaltender. Well, they, they really like. There's the block by Bennett. Oh, I didn't see that. Bennett's like, he looks up, he kind of looks up to the sky. Maybe letting out a, a a yelp of pain right there. Boom! You see his head move, and he's too busy uh, recovering. And then Hughes walks him and lets go of a very very good slap shot. This isn't deja vu. Actually, Paul Maurice challenged that the faceoff win went off of Neil Zaman's glove, but there's no conclusive evidence. So the Canucks actually get a power play out of that, delay a game penalty, but they don't score in it. But at least they're up. Two to one. Speaking of power plays, it's Florida later in the in the period, and you see basically a breakdown here. Susie goes to the corner and gets stuck in the corner. Now it's outman. Uh, you know they're outmanned, and Lundell just comes in. Anton Lundell and puts it past Lankin in with uh, with kind of Tyler Myers stuck in no man's land. He had to worry about the guy driving the net, and he also had to worry about Lundell coming in the corner. So once again, right here, it's Verhage and Susie takes him out. But Susie is very slow to get back in the play. Then Lundell says, fine, I'm just going to come in and shoot it past Lankinen on the far side. Here's another good look at it. Here's Lundell. So Susie is still in the corner. Myers is now stuck in no man's land, right? Does he take him? Does he take him? I guess he could have taken him a bit sooner, knowing that he's got his forward here. But it's too late. Lundell with a really, really good shot. Got to give him credit. Getting it past Lankinen. Now it's 2-2. We go to the third period. They have this one kind of random highlight of a, of a rush here. The puck gets back to Quinn Hughes off a turnover. And then it was a slap pass in front to... Who's that to? Looks like it's, it's Neil Zaman. And Bobrovsky makes an excellent save with his glove. There, beautiful vision by Hughes. Nice tip by, uh, uh, tip by Amon and a great glove save by Borowski. Let's go into overtime. Let's watch it in full speed first. Hughes will gain the line, turn around, see Miller looping back. Besser busts his butt to get out of the zone. You see him out there. Miller blows by Lindell, blows the puck by Borowski. Two minutes into overtime, the Canucks have their first win of the season. I think they show one replay. Let's watch it. Real quick, it's a very nice play. Hughes gains the blue line and then and then finds Miller the trailer coming behind. Let's make sure that they yes. Okay, this is after actually I'll go back. This is after Miller has gotten the puck, goes a nice outside backhand power move, and then takes it to his forehand. Man, goals look so much prettier when you shoot it off at one leg. His right leg up, his left leg, snap past Bobrovsky. But I want to show you one cool thing right before this goal. I talked about how it's a set play. If you look there, look at Miller. Miller is going back towards his own goalie, doing this big loop. So this is a set play. Hughes sees him out of the corner of his eye, comes down. So there's Miller way back there. Miller, Hughes gains the line. And then as soon as he gains it, he exits out. And now Besser has to, has to hustle. And there, Besser just makes it outside the line before Miller goes in and he pops the goal past Sergei Bobrovsky. So there we go, Canucks fans. Canucks win by a score of three to two over the defending Stanley Cup champion Florida Panthers. And the Canucks are back to 500 and look to build on that going forward. Let me know what you thought about this breakdown. Was there a particular goal or highlight that stood out to you? And was there something that I missed, a nuance of a play that I missed that you want to point it out to me? Put it in the comments below. Would love to read, react, and reply as always. Shout out to my sponsors, Van City Experts Real Estate, Coach Patrick Liu, Weight Loss Coach. And thank you, legendary Lucas Gates, legendary Andrew Chang, Hall of Fame and Franchise members for your support. And thanks to all of you for watching liking and subscribing. On the way out, make sure you like the video, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. You can leave a donation, you can become a member, you can upgrade your membership, and definitely leave a comment. What was the highlight for you of these highlights? Is there something that I pointed out to you that you did not see? Is there something that I missed that you want to let me know? In the meantime, I hope you have a great Friday, a great weekend. Connects next play in Philly, trying to ex extract some, re exact some revenge, not extract some revenge. That, well, they could do that too, but they're going to try and exact some revenge on the Flyers for their game two loss. This will be game five, a game that could push the Canucks over 500 for the season. Thanks for watching, everyone. Stay safe, stay healthy. Take care of yourselves and take care of each other. God bless and go Canucks go.